All right, fourth graders, I am looking at this picture for shapes. And my paper is long, horizontal in front, and I kind of have it scooted so you can see more of it in the video. So I like to start with the head, and I am going to draw that head pretty much in the center of my big paper. And the head really just looks like an oval shape. Connected to that head, I am going to make the shell. So it's a very rounded, almost umbrella or um, rainbow type shape. This turtle shell kind of comes up, down, and around. And now I'm going to draw the side of the shell. It's just going to kind of follow that same line. From here, I would draw a flipper. And I see this flipper kind of straight and very rounded as well. At this point, this part is the belly of the turtle. I just need to connect all this stuff. So the flipper kind of connects right into the neck. You might have a little erasing. I might bring the shell up and connect it right here. That side fin, our flipper, is just a little round shape right here. So right now it's kind of hard to see all these different things going on. I'm gonna get the eye and some kind of a mouth. Turtles almost look very grumpy. The line of their mouth comes down. If, with your pencil, you wanna get so detailed and add some shapes or some patterns. You absolutely could. If you would rather just do those things with oil crayon, that's fine too. A turtle might have a pattern on its shell. Doesn't have to match this picture. It might have rounded lines. There might be more of a pattern going this way. So use some of the pictures around the table, or if you just wanna invent your own, that's fine too. When it comes to the oil crayon part, it does not have to look real. But an important thing you're going to want to do with the oil crayon is outline on your pencil so that you can actually see your turtle once you get color and paint on it. So it could be any color. I'm using pink. With the oil crayon, you really don't want to color it solid. If you want to add a little bit of a thicker line, you could. If you want to lightly shade, you could do that as well. As a fourth grader, you could even think about overlapping and mixing colors. Anything you leave white can have paint added onto it as a color as well. So I'm not going to paint or color the entire turtle for you, but you can see that you can go lightly, you can press hard, but importantly today, you definitely want to outline on that pencil so that it disappears and you'll be able to tell the difference between your turtle and the water as you add paint. In this part, I didn't really add any pattern or texture. I mean, I could do that. You could just simply color lightly. You could blend those colors like we talked about. So you can take a look at some of the examples that were left to get some ideas as well. So once you have outlined, colored, added value, made textures, you might get to the painting part today. The painting part, we also have glow-in-the-dark watercolors. So you know in order for these paints to work, we have to add water. And you want to add enough water so it turns like paint. So I have green. I think it's probably important that your turtle has some green in it, if it's paint or if it's oil crayon. And you can notice that the paint is sticking to the paper, but not the oil crayon. So the oil crayon is still going to show up really nice. pretty cool. It like bubbles up right on that oil crayon. It's resisting it. You definitely want the water to have color. Now, I don't know about you, but most water is usually blue. So I'm adding water, getting that to spread. If you notice your paint is doing this kind of thing, it needs more water. If you want to mix, you can. So you could have a bluish green water. If you wanted to even put a little pink in your water, you definitely could. Another choice you have in the water is when it's wet, you can sprinkle some pinches of salt. You can notice how they kind of dissolve and create a burst. If your paint is too dry to do this, you can add water on top of it Create some nice value and texture in your water. You can even move it around if you want. So today, your goal is to draw with pencil the shape of the turtle. 
add color with oil crayon. Outlining it and coloring and adding value and patterns. The paint part might not get finished today, but you'll have another art day to do that.